Hey, welcome back Rotary Swing Golfers. This is your instructor, Chris Tyler. And I wanna take a few moments of your time today and talk to you about the powers of the swing review process. I'm gonna show you a student that came to us in March of 2015 who was averaging between 95 and 105 on the golf course and has now 10 months later shot his best score of 80. I'm gonna show you guys how to get a good game plan in place. I'm gonna show you how to execute the game plan. And more importantly, we're gonna get you playing your best golf in 2016. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, everyone, so our objective of today's video is to not only showcase this student transformation, but it's also to help you lay out a good definitive game plan and also set some goals for yourself here in 2016. So you start working on the correct things in your swing and you start playing some of your best golf. I know a lot of times when we first enter the website, we see this extremely large amount of video content available to you. And a lot of times what happens is the students start doing some self-diagnosis and start focusing in on the wrong areas of the golf swing. And that's where the power of the swing review process that we have available to you can become extremely critical for you to be able to reach your goals. And this is a, a student that joined the unlimited review groups back in March. And what we can do as instructors is we take a really big look at the golf swing from this giant picture perspective and say, okay, these are the areas that we want to focus in on first. This is the reason why this is the cause and effect relationship that that's going to happen in these golf swing changes. And what that does is, is it allows you to stay focused in these areas piece by piece. And in turn, you're going to get some great results just like Tao did. So I want to show you guys these transformations and then I'm going to help you get a process in place here. All right. So over on the left hand side of the screen, you're going to see the starting point back in March of 2015. See the setup. You can see quite a bit more space, quite a big spine angle here from from a anatomic standpoint where you can see his hands are a little bit closer to his body. Um, ideally, we'd like to have his hands probably right in between this point. These actually were just a little bit pulled into the body in this particular review, but um, our focus points during these last 10 months or so was to start stop using the hands and arms so much in the golf swing and start using the body as a big powerful tool. And that's where he was making a lot of mistakes is that he was using his arms as his big primary power source. So let's go ahead and work up to the top of the swing. See that the club head gets a little bit shut here. Okay, through the takeaway position, clubs a little bit above the plane line. And then he works up into the vertical plane where this right elbow is pretty deep in relationship to the body. Now, when we looked at this golf swing, I saw that his hands and arms were doing quite a bit to get us up to this position. Was it a big focus around load and rotation? He was doing a fairly good job. But remember, if you're loading muscles up in order, they're going to fire in order. And when we looked at it more from a face on perspective, we could see the arms really working hard to get up into this particular spot. So now let's go ahead and take a look over on the right hand side of the screen. You'll see the transformation here. Okay, start, starting to work through the takeaway. You can see that in the takeaway position, this club head is on the plane line and much more square where the toe of the club is up towards the sky. And then he's going to continue to work up to the top of the swing where his right elbow is in a much better position here at the top of the swing. His hands are in a good spot. And what we've noticed here as well is that we were able to tighten his golf swing up by focusing on lower body and rotation. So you see this window between the knees here. That's allowed his pelvis to become unstable. That's allowed his hips to over rotate a slight amount, which in turn allowed his hands and arms to continue to go further and further and further, which can be a little bit more out of control. It can be hard to control that. That can add timing variables to the golf swing. So if you look over here on the right hand side of the screen, you can see that there's no window popping open here between the knees. It's given his, his body, his brain, a signal that, hey, I feel loaded up in my, in my right glute. I feel my midsection starting to get some good contraction. Now I can start the golf swing going in the other direction. So now what I want you to pay attention to on the left-hand side is how steep we were coming down. You can see that this club shaft, as his hands are right about sternum height, is pretty vertical. It's above his right shoulder, where over on the right-hand side of the screen, you're going to see things shallow out pretty drastically. So let me get some of this stuff off the screen. So you can see that this club shaft hands are virtually in the same height right here. Okay, you see that shaft is now below his right shoulder slightly. This club head's going to get on the plane line here pretty quickly. And it's going to trace down the plane line. And then we're going to get into the hitting area in a very, very good impact position here where his hips are open, maybe 35 to 40 degrees. His shoulders are nice and square and his right heel is down on the ground. That's going to act as a break for the release. Where if you watch down here, the club's going to continue to stay over the top. Right heel drives up. And you can see a pretty drastic difference in impact position. So right heels up, you can see that his hips are open quite a bit more 
and then he's going to continue to drive his body through the hitting area. Okay, so you see the continued movement from that side. Now that was a drastic shift in paths between these two swings. And it wasn't like we just worked on hand and arm movements to get the club to come down on a much shallower plane. We had to understand why that this was happening. So I explained it to him at the beginning of the process and said, okay, we need to focus on not allowing your arms to become your primary power source. We need to make sure that you're using your body. And I know a lot of times when students come to the website and we've been so fixated on swing plane, you hear me talk a little bit about that in the tour analysis is that, you know, we want to have this club in a beautiful position at the top. And I'm not arguing with that. That's, that's obviously extremely important um, to so many, so many levels, but our focus needs to be on big picture stuff. How do we work? How, how are things affecting us down at impact? How are things affecting the way that we sequence our downswing? And uh, that's, that's exactly the processes that we took. So getting more in line with helping you out now is that if you are a premium member of the website, I really encourage you to go ahead and submit videos for us to go ahead and take a look at your swing and say, okay, these are the areas that you want to focus in. These are the videos that we're going to attach for you to help you through this process. That's the most critical part for you. That way you have a good game plan and you understand, okay, I need to focus on this area. All of our instructors have been really, they're very high level, very well trained, and they are here to help you reach those goals. You can even set goals together with your instructors. So that's, that's my point of today's video is not only to show you this awesome transformation, was just to give you a good idea of how you can get to where you wanna go by having a good game plan in place. So if you've been doing some self-diagnosis out there, just make sure that you understand the cause and effect relationships. If you're unclear of the cause and effect relationships, by all means, ask questions in the video comments. That's what we're here for. We can help you through this process. That's the beauty of rotaryswing.com. Okay guys, so if you're joining us on our YouTube channel, I wanna first start off by saying thanks again for tuning into this week's student success story. I also wanna mention, if you have not yet signed up for free membership at rotaryswing.com, I want you to do so now. You can do that by clicking in the link in the description below, or you can click the ending slide, and that'll take you over to the website where you can sign up for a free membership. You can start looking around the website, start accessing a lot of our free content, and if you decide to become a premium member, I want you to also understand that we offer a full 30-day, no hassle, no questions asked, money-back guarantee. During that 30 days, you can have full access to the entire library of videos. You can submit two swing reviews during the month, and you can also have access to the video comments where us instructors can go in there and, and really comment and help you through these processes. We give that, that money back guarantee because we want to make sure we're a good fit for each other. We want to be able to help you get to your goals within the game of golf so that you can start playing your best. And remember, if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button below. If you have any questions or comments for us, please feel free to post those up. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel. That way you get notifications anytime we put out some of our newest content. Now let's get out there. Let's play some of our best golf in 2016.